Hi. In this slide, I want to get you thinking about uh, kind of what I call four-way directional profit power numbers. And I'm going to see if we can be a little sensational here in this thing. Let's imagine that this big yellow box is your business. And we know from a top-down viewpoint that we're already doing financial numbers. We've been doing balance sheets since 1492. The generally accepted accounting principles are volumes, and it's a full-time industry for accountants to make sure that all of our numbers do all kinds of hoop jumping, et cetera, to pay our taxes on time. None of it at all has anything to do with customer net profitability, uh, net profitability of items, service value metrics for number one niche customers, none of the stuff that really this, this whole e-video constellation is about. Now, ideally, besides top down, because we are a service company, bottom up. So if I went out to Wally in the warehouse, coming up from the bottom, I'd say, Wally, what are the big eight of service excellence that this company measures every day to let you know that you're giving great service to the customers? And what do you directly or indirectly do to make those numbers happen? And he'd have those answers. And in a sense, I could say, Wally, line of sight, in other words, if these numbers happen, what happens? He says, well, what happens, Bruce, is then we have great service. Our customers stick with us, buy more from us, uh, tell their friends, and we start to have more net profits. And because the profits go up, here's my gain sharing bonus, and that's what's in it for me. So that's great. Now, going out of the business, if customers are to our right, um, wouldn't it be great if we had net profit numbers for all of our customers and we could rank them high to low we could put them put them in, in in subsets of niches and say in this niche we made a ton of money in this niche we lost a lot of money that kind of stuff that's the beginning of wisdom it's not you know you can't really do anything productive with it but we'll get get to that later so that would be uh inside out and then over here on the on the on the left side of the thing coming in from well i mean i need to race to get my eraser here So uh, the uh, coming from the suppliers, let's assume the suppliers are on our left side here. We have profits that are coming in and through our business. So wouldn't it be great if we had a P&L for every S stock keeping unit and we could figure out whether our most profitable ones are biggest losers and what we could do to sell more of our winners and fix our losers, wouldn't that be great? And out of all of these, these, these profit power numbers, we'd actually come up with a different set of what I call power laws. Now, the most common power law you may be familiar with is Pareto's principle of 20% of the people have 80% of the wealth. That's all he ever said in 1906 in Italy. He said 20% of the people had 80% of the land. This was popularized by a, a quality guru named Geron, and he was talking about when we're trying to reduce errors or uh, uh, bad quality, we go look at all the things that contribute to it and we find the vital few sources of, 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 of bad stuff and we take care of them first. So we'll look a little bit more at the kind of power laws we can get with line item profit analytics. Thank you.